Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Um, welcome back. This week we are covering Aaron Cook versus Milad Biegi, I think. These guys fought in the World Championships 2017, had a rematch in uh, 2019, and I thought the game was pretty interesting, so we're going to take a look at that. Um, coming up in Taekwondo news besides that, though, um, what's his name? This is just the rematch. But coming up in uh, news stuff, besides that, I think there's another Grand Prix going down. Um, if not this week, then it's going to be next week. I'll try to have those videos out for you guys, too. Um, but so far, let's take a look at what's going on here. Aaron Cook, uh, some background story if you guys don't know. Aaron Cook, the one here in blue. Um, he uh, got kind of famous because he took he knocked out the uh, gold medal, the, like the most decorated fighter in history so far, um, uh, Stephen Lopez, and he knocked him out in in a tournament in Mexico, and that went viral, and he got really big off of that. And I think Aaron was supposed to go to he's went to one of the Olympics, I believe, and was going to go to another one. This is guy right here. He has a backstory. This is in Manchester. He was originally part of the G Great Britain team. He's been uh, going to different countries and fighting for them now. For kind of whatever, whoever will take him, either Isle of Man or um, Moldova, I think is his, his current one, his current country he's fighting for. Azerbaijan, a little a little bit similar in that he used to be ir from Iran. And I heard the backstory for him was that um, one of his teammates was going to get picked for the Olympics. And so in order to uh, have a shot, he uh, switched countries to Azerbaijan and uh, fights for them now. And the first time these two had fought, Azerbaijan had uh, kind of whooped on Aaron a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean by like, it was a large margin. So it was interesting to see them here again. And I want to take a look at both sides, kind of what they're doing, what I like, what I don't like. Um, and uh, hopefully break some of that down for you guys to uh, take home with you as well. Oh, as for fighting styles, Aaron Cook, a lot of kicks, uh, high scoring, you or you very usually very high scoring. Um, so instead of being like five four, the score is usually like 35, 34, um, 33, 29, something like that. Also very dynamic, can spin a lot, etc. Azerbaijan, a little bit more of a uh, the meta game where it's a lot of front leg, a lot of front leg poke. A lot of front leg, um, just stuff like that in general. Because um, from Iran, that's kind of just how the fighting style is. Aaron Cook a lot more calm now. Usually Aaron, Aaron will op usually open with like a with a, a lot of kicks, like high high pressure, high a lot of cut, a lot of fast kick. Something to get you off your toes. Or on your toes. Aaron being smart about this guy. The first time. He knows he knows it's this front leg. That's the main weapon. Is this front leg, and so I think Aaron right now is trying to figure out a way to get around that safely because last time he just tried to charge in, he uh, evidently did not work. It didn't work, and he ended up losing. I think he's trying to gauge the speed of that front leg right now. Meanwhile, Azerbaijan, cool, calm, collected. Not too much going on. I think uh, also because it's preliminary matches, they might still be feeling each other out. Um, I'm not sure what round this was. Let's see if it says in the description. Uh, Quarterfinal. Okay. Ooh, this is going to uh, the winner of this gets medal. It's kind of kind of a big fight. Aaron's playing a lot more cautious. Ooh, a lot more cautious than normal. So first. First points on the board by Azerbaijan. Up all to the face. Why why did that work? Why is that why did that work? Because in the last few uh exchanges, it's been just Aaron trying to cut and then get to the inside or cancel and get to the inside. Kinda like what we saw. Um what we saw what's the guy from ooh, Sunbay doing last week. Just Cancel, get to the inside. The exchange of that on your way in is sometimes you risk this head kick. Aaron trying to make it up. Nice try. Mm. 
You can hear kind of the uh, you can hear the GBR team cheering in the background for him. Good follow up. Two follow ups got through. Aaron's not used to being the one on the defensive. Um, he does have that initial spin usually if people come at him too hard, but I don't see him engage too much defensively with the uh, kicks and uh, follow ups and stuff like that from the defensive point of view. Usually it's that giant that big spin or he'll wait till he has he until the match resets even just a little bit and then he can go back on the offense. Dodge one. Obviously being very kind of uncomfortable there in the uh, clinch. Dude, just racking up points. Good follow by Azerbaijan to hit both of those on the way out, though. This guy's left leg defense is really, really good. Nice punch. Ooh. Nice follow. Okay, so Aaron's letting this kick get by him a lot. Or at least this is one of the main weapons. So one of the reasons for this uh lead leg double is because you know Aaron wants Aaron wants to cancel, so he's trying to hit underneath. The one, two, boom. And something Aaron needs to watch for right away is anytime they hit get close to the glitch is this left leg to the back. Aaron wants a card. Nice punch. If I were Aaron in this situation, um, an option knowing that he's in the corner already here and doesn't have much space to move back, he can cut and then go on top. Like So cut and then up without putting it down. He can cancel. One of the options was to cancel punch. Um, I personally I think I would have went for something closer to the headshot here, though, because he's already on the edge of the ring. Take advantage of that, or at least um, throw that headshot the way Azerbaijan did earlier on this side and then follow up, and uh, maybe get seven points too, or at least four points. So not bad on the punch, keeps him on the edge, maintains that ring management. Nice try again. That was really good uh, adjustment really quick by Azerbaijan. So he's here back. He sees Aaron coming again. Attempts, I think. I want to say almost he attempted for the head, but he got stuck on Aaron's shoulder. Knowing that he's Aaron's going to come in and punch, headshots are uh, the counter to the punch, unless you can hit the, the lower under the flank one. Aaron moving up the punch again. Needs to maintain, needs to watch for this, dude. So I, it's also interesting because it's not just on the left. It's also on the right side. So neither side is safe. Aaron needs to be able to defend that leaning one way or the other. This way he tried to lean. Didn't work. No out of bounds. Okay. Nice try. Aaron moving a little bit, a little bit more with the Aaron Cook esque offense. Lots of kicks, lots of, uh, lots of exchanges. So break down the first match. What information do we have from both players? Azerbaijan, we have his left leg obviously in front. Um, that thing to the face also deadly. That thing in the clinch also deadly, and he has a right leg crescent kick in the clinch. From that comes from behind your head. So those are a couple of weapons. How's Aaron trying to counter that? He's trying to counter with a lot of cancel. And um, that's not necessarily bad. There's another fight later, um, I think. Perez versus... Uh, I think it's Argentina against uh, another taller player. And in order to cancel the cancel, he ends up doing a rear leg to the backside or a rear leg to the same leg that the cancel's on. So that's something you guys can try. Um, how would you get around someone whose left leg is like this? One of the ways is like Aaron Cook is doing, sliding punch. Another variation I don't think Aaron Cook does this round is um, the Iranian type of punch where you're sliding with your leg is up, so that way their cancel meets your cancel, or their cancel meets your leg, and then 
when that's good, then you can punch on top of that. That's I think that would be my preferred method of method of getting around someone whose lead leg is very dynamic like that, or uh, mo- like same deal. Motion a lot, draw it up first, and then try and go for the cancel and punch, or cancel fall up to the body. Um, but let's see how Aaron play with that information. Let's see how Aaron plays that next round. Just like I said, okay. Cancel. That's a cancel punch I'm talking about. Go in with the lead leg first until that uh, until his front leg meets your leg, and then once your leg, since it's coming up underneath, it, your leg's gonna be on top. Force it down and punch on top of that. Unfortunately, here no point, and uh, Aaron really needs to watch his head. But that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good adaptation to what Aaron's doing. So here. Aaron goes in with that cancel again. He doesn't close the distance fast enough, though, or have his hand up ready to, to punch and close the distance. So Azerbaijan is able to slip his foot up first, coming from inside out. So in those situations, um, you got to close. Like, for that kind of stuff, you see here Aaron kind of had his head back when he was doing it. When uh, Jun when Jun Seo does it, he's fully committed forward into that, and so it's a lot harder to hit him because his head is already close to you, giving you less time to get your foot up there. Try it again. Not bad. Okay, so it seems like Azerbaijan's quick adjustment is inside-out inside out axe kick. Um, so we'll see how Aaron deals with this, actually. He tries to go for the front leg again. I think now that he knows, uh, now that he knows Azerbaijan, he looks like he's got the spider monkey going. Um, now that he knows Azerbaijan knows how to counter that, he has to change the initial variable he's using. So that's why he's using a lot of cut now. I think he's going to do that to try and set up more punches. Clinch. I'm not sure why Aaron's going for the clinch here, to be honest, because all of the points that Azerbaijan has been scoring is in the clinch, and it doesn't seem like Aaron can create any distance to get his uh, double or bullet kick off or to get any of his uh, head, co- head kicks in the, in the clinch off. Not sure why he went for that. Mm. nice try there you go so that's the situation i would expect him to look for more is inside of just getting into the clinch body to body you want to get your hands on him to get the under the kick underneath no no gum junk for going out i remember the rules changing a little bit for for the world championships so not 100 percent sure on the pushing rule now That's right. He's trying to create the space, I think. Why was he not able to do that? He easily could have slid backwards here. So in this situation, if you still want to create space, force this foot down. And as this foot's down, you slide this foot out this way or a little bit up that way. So that way you have a little bit more angle. And then you can, you can still, you'll have, still have enough space to go for the body. Um, I'm not sure if Aaron was looking for something else. But yeah, he kind of lets uh, Azerbaijan close in on him. Yeah, so in that situation, if you needed to create the, uh, if you can't push them back in a clinch, what you need to do is you need to drop your, uh, I usually drop my weight hard in the front, so that way it's, uh, it's a way, it's a reason kind of to, not a reason, how to put this, I drop my weight in the front and I push my leg that's in the back a little bit further back to create more room for the kick, so it's almost like if your leg is up, force it down and force your other leg back so you kind of create um i would say almost like a wedge with your whole body and because you're because they're coming forward you're you just use your hands to like hold them there as you drop your weight and then you have enough your your back leg will have enough space to fire something off aaron getting a little bit more aaron-esque kind of pressing he's still playing I know I said before he kicks a lot, and this is very, uh, I'm not sure the last, I haven't been watching Aaron the last year, last year and a half. This is uh, very unlike Aaron to be fighting this kind of style. Usually Aaron's a lot of kicks, uh, and he will out-stamina you or 
outpoint you to the end, even if it's 33 to 32. Um, that's usually his style that I've been watching, and um, he's not doing that here. He's very a lot more cautious. That was not necessary by Red. There's Aaron spin kicks. You can hear GBR in the background going crazy for him. And I'd say that wasn't super necessary. There's a lot of other ways that you could have. Uh, I think Red did that to establish offensive uh, momentum. And there's a lot of other ways you could have done that in a safer fashion. Really trying for that punch. So I don't, okay, so there's a method that's uh, been taught before where you kind of wedge your head next to their head and uh, it supposedly creates, makes it difficult for them to kick you in the back of the head. Um, what I found was that blocking it is just easier for me. Just get the arm behind your head, cover this whole back section of the hogu so the sensor doesn't hit. I found that to be a lot easier, um, especially with Dado. And then uh, the Koreans, as you saw in the last video, have this thing where they like move their head left to the opposite side. So if the foot's coming up on the right side, like on this side, then you just move your head that way. If it's coming up on this side, you move your leg to the left that way, like six inches or so. That seems to be effective for them. Um, this one, Aaron's kind of just burying his head into the other guy's uh, neck or head. And uh, that's one of the other methods you guys can try if you want to. For me, I didn't find it that effective in my experience. Um, but for you guys, you guys may have better success with that. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. Kai here is not bad. In the clinch, you have to expect this leg's coming up. That's like his bread and butter. Aaron uh, moves his head forward in the other guy's head, I think. And uh, it didn't work for him. So in this situation, I would have either had this arm, use this arm to wrap around the back of my head like that, like a super extreme MMA block. Or if you're Korean, move your head to this side, like six inches. So it's, over, it's like way over here. Uh, Aaron, I think maybe caught by surprise, didn't do that. Axe kick soon. Axe kick soon. No. Okay. Well, I was saying axe kick soon because so after the reset, he knows Aaron wants to come in. He knows Aaron still needs to come in. He's down by seven. So to poke it, I thought I would initially have thought this is to poke and prod a little bit just to get him to move toward him again. So first cut. Second offense. On the third offense, you can't just keep backing up because there's also the non the non engagement quote unquote warning where if you keep backing up and you don't engage, you get called for not fighting. So sometime soon Aaron Cook is gonna have to come in. And all of Aaron Cook's offense so far has been to try and cancel this front leg. So that's why I was saying axe kick soon because sure enough in this next exchange, Aaron decides to try and cancel instead of sliding back, and that would have been a good time to throw that front leg axe. You went a little too long on the reset. And on that one, sure enough, like Aaron, I was, he, Aaron kind of canceled with his front foot, but to go on top of that with an axe kick would have been a decent option. Ooh. Nice try with the punch. Aaron's calling for grabbing or pushing or something. Gumjong for blocking. I also don't know if I would have went with this kind of an offense. The the back leg, knowing that Azerbaijan's front leg is the main weapon. Nice punch by Azerbaijan. So this is um this is opportunity for the the third variation punch where you slide in with a cancel first and then you punch on top. Right there on the cancel, as soon as his leg is locked, try and force your leg down and punch on top of that. Um, if you're able to generate sound or and or show your extension of your arm, you generally you get a point for that. Let's nice try it. Right. 
Let's try. Down by seven. Iron cook. You're down by seven. You know that everything's coming out of the left leg. How do you counter? What are the possible counters? In my opinion, possible counters are, like I said in the first round, cancellation pu cancellation of the punch, the side up, leg up bent. As soon as it hits, cancel, punch on top of that. Second option, um, you can try Russia's double where you have your first leg up, wait till they meet it with their leg, and then you double with the other leg. Third option is you spin, spin trap. Um, and so I would be throwing any variation of those three in the next round. If you're Azerbaijan, well, you're up by seven, and so you kind of maintain your main weapon and throw different variations of the offense and the defense of this guy. That doesn't help very much, but if like let's say, let's say you have a main weapon that's your front leg, don't just op all body every time. Op all face. You gotta cut. You gotta keep showing those variations, so that way, as the other person's picking the offense, they're not sure what kind of defense they're gonna be going against. Change the variables, man. There you go. That's the punch I was talking about. Just defend your head in the clinch, dude. Cancellation. Punch. Boom. Right here. You have like you, you have to know this is coming. Aaron tried, I think. In my opinion, I think Aaron may have tried the, the Korean version where you're moving to the side. Easier just to get your freaking arm back there and defend the back of your headgear like this. You look stupid, and I look stupid doing this. But if I can prevent their foot sensor from hitting the back of my headgear, that's all that matters. It's like, after at the end of the day, it's just, can his foot sensor get to my headgear or armor sensors? Just deny that, and you should be fine. This is a lot more Aaron-esque. A lot more uh, exchanges going on in the clinch here. Aaron shoving his head into the other guy's neck still. There you go. Decent, decent time for punch. I wouldn't really jockey for position as much just because I'd be waiting to see where. Nice punch. That's the more effective <clears throat> uh, way to. That's kind of the Korean way to defend it. Here, boom, in. Head is on the opposite side of the main threat. When they kick, lean your head over. Nice. Nice spin. So, wait, hold on. Is there a... Oh, kicking below the belt. Mm. The punch, maybe. I mean, the, the form-wise, this doesn't look too good, so you'd have to slide in first. It's like the first variation of the punch. Nice cut. Face kick. I was wrong on that one. Okay. It's a bit of replay about the call. Oh, we get to go back. Denied. Nice punch. Oh, watch yourself. For grabbing? Okay. Uh, you gotta shut up. So what's kind of happened, well, obviously what you can see is happening. Aaron mounting the offense now, being a little bit more like himself. Azerbaijan trying to mess with those, uh, trying to hold on to the lead. And initially, he playing defensively against Aaron was um, was being was effective in the first two rounds. As soon as Aaron started racking up, like chain, like closing the distance, Azerbaijan now is slowly mounting more and more, more of an offense because he doesn't want to just sit here and let Aaron pick whatever offense he wants to choose. He wants to keep Aaron honest and... Um, away from free thinking so you're the situation you're down by 10 
you still have a minute left. A minute's a lot of time. That's like two spin kicks and a body kick. That's three head kicks. That's still, it's like 20, you have 20 seconds per head kick to try and time. Um, and maybe force a gum junk or something. So you don't need to rush into anything. I would recommend staying. Remember, this is front left leg is the main weapon. As soon as you're in the clinch, just defend that. And um, I actually wouldn't even mind continuing with the punch game because 60 seconds to get a couple punches and a punch and a follow up or a punch and a head kick or mix that up with um, like Junjeo's ass kick or Junseo's axe kick. All that stuff you have a lot of time for still. Um, for, those, for those of you guys who are watching, make sure you're not rushing in too hard in the last minute to try and make up points. There you go. Nice. Too bad. Oh, uh, that was, nope, that wasn't, that wasn't it. Now you're just 11 points behind. So you're here. Boom. Force out. Almost force out. Boom. Just keep him there. Keep him at the edge. There you go. Nice try. I, I don't know why he spun him because I would have rather him fight here on the edge going backwards than if you flip him, he goes this way. Like, if even if he falls over, you're going to get called for holding. Like, it's not... It's not a... Um, I don't see that play coming to your benefit. Azerbaijan's smiling because he knows Aaron's frustrated already. There you go. Good variation. Now you can do other things with that. You can slide in variation punch and actually like since your front leg is bent and you're sliding in and you're gonna you're showing the punch and your front leg is bent show the punch and then flip that front leg into an axe kick another variation you can do cut ah yikes watch your defense boom so the variation i was telling aaron to do is what Azerbaijan did the cut into the axe kick. Uh, you still have 40 seconds, dude. I would not be throwing the, the Hail Marys yet. That's a last eight second deal. Azerbaijan's purposely using his other leg now because I think he knows Aaron's trying to trap it. Trying to trap his front leg. And he kind of knows the game's in the bag, but maybe there's a vendetta between these two guys that didn't like each other. There you go. People are going hysterical. It's 15 points. He's going to use it. There you go. So those are the kind of traps to be using. Anything to bait that front leg into a spin. Azerbaijan doing a good job to mount the offense, even though he's up by a lot, to make sure Aaron can't just pick points apart. Uh, Aaron ends up losing this. Not able to make up the points, even though they continue here. Aaron trying for his uh, fancy combo. If, uh, so you notice the spinny stuff Aaron was doing now. I feel like if he had started doing that in the second round, uh, Aaron likes to take that gamble a lot. He'll take, he'll rotate on the spin and bet that his four or five point shot will land on you over your two point shot. And, um, he likes to take that risk. And so if I were Aaron, I think using those kind of spins earlier in the second round, <laughs> may have uh, helped close the gap sooner instead of just relying solely on the punch, even though I, my, for me personally, that's what I would have done to make up the points. Aaron, in his style, where he excels is doing these spins and forcing you in these weird engage where you're kicking and um, your leg's up and he's still rotating. You're not sure if it's coming to the body, if it's coming to the head, if it's a back kick, if it's in full-on not a bond, that whole deal. If I were Aaron and you have something like this in an arsenal, that's something you want to use uh, second round. Start trying to use that second round. So overall recap of the match, Azerbaijan, really solid uh, front leg game a and uh, strong in the clinch, able to get behind Aaron's head. Um, Aaron, in my opinion, had really good adjustments for the punch, and in the third round he tried to spin a little bit, but the big gaping hole that we saw in Aaron's game is his uh, the back of the head. 
And so if you're fighting someone like that, you need to either be as good as Jang Jun and get your head out, figure out which way to get your head out of the way, or you need to do what I do and you block. Um, besides that, we're also able to see some pretty quick adjustments by Azerbaijan to change his variables that he's using as soon as Aaron attacks his front leg or tries to trap his front leg once or twice. Uh, so for those of you guys who are watching at home, be mindful of the of the weapons you're using. And if you use them too often, it's going to be too easy to get trapped. And sure, Aaron like didn't win this one, but what Azerbaijan did, even though he relies on this front leg to the body and in the clinch that leg to the head, is he changes a lot of um, what he'll he doesn't just play defensively off ball. He changes it. He goes on offense. Occasionally, he even uses back leg. Occasionally, he doubles. Um, it's not the same variable every single time. So if you guys have a main weapon, you need to take that weapon and come up with a couple of different variations of how you can present it to your opponent. So that way they're not easily trapping what you're doing. Um, but that's it, guys. I'm going to be looking forward to looking at the uh, the next Grand Prix fights. And hopefully those are posted so I can break them down for you. Um, but that's it, guys. I'll see you guys next week.